Hey, what's up, guys? I'm and welcome back to the channel. Today, we're going to My Hero Academia Chapter 3, uh, uh, 322. Now, this whole arc has been really interesting. I've really loved the way they kind of just like chains Deku around, and he's gone with me like this sweet, lovable, innocent guy, just wanting to be a hero to being kind of like this dark guy who's just obsessed with this one goal of I have to beat the villain, I have to take him down. No matter what, I'm sorry, my friends. I can't get you guys involved. Like, because he still has that, like, he still wants to protect his friends. The whole reason he's doing this, he doesn't want to get involved. But also, at the same time, his mindset is just, I have to take him down no matter what. And that's a dangerous mindset to have. So, this is very really interesting. I know some people have kind of been mad, though, with the whole friends thing, because they feel it's kind of just taking away a lot of the character growth that he's gotten over this. And I agree to some extent, I'm not going to lie, but I still do like, I think it makes sense for his classrooms, for his classmates to come up, classrooms, for his classmates to come up, rescue, to come try to rescue him from this because they are his friends, they care about him, they see him like destroying his body and stuff, they, it would be, it wouldn't make sense for them just to sit there and do nothing. So, and as far as that, like, like I get what people are saying, but at the same time, like I said, it makes sense for them to do this. But you know, let's, let's get into the chapter. I have to, I have to free myself. From his uh, grass, but I don't have the strength left to do so. Great explosive murder god <laughs> overnight. Uh, so it's the Baku Center one. Please, how can I rock it? Please S stick this landing. Dude, I won't break. Well, are you okay? <laughs> Maria, well, a while back, this one story threw me for a loop. Some kid my age dashed into danger to save. Hey, pal, this had to be you, right? Damn right. The one who, the one that, that didn't have squat, that didn't have squat to do with any special powers or anything. It's the same sort of action where you were taking for you now. What you did back there, stealing, stealing, uh, uh stealing put one on your, on your part, Kinsman. Just happened to be the whole, just happened to be there while, while following it. Everyone's a uh, cheer. Oh my gosh. Uh, couldn't be there while following the Endeavor orders, dude. Okay, I'm okay, sorry. I had to zoom in here for a minute. Modoria, it's I can't stand the thought of losing anyone else, K. So, I mean, yeah, rest in peace. You know, uh, the sand died, and obviously, midnight, and everybody else was like, right, so you won't stick with us. We've got. The class to class to attend and stuff. I mean, hold on a minute, guys. All right, I gotta stop the video for a minute, but dude, I can't stand the thought of, of losing anyone else, K. So you won't stick, so won't you stick with us? We've got class to attend to and stuff. Whoa, whoa, there, Madoya. It's I like that, but I'm too scared. All the people at UA, I, I didn't want to make, I didn't want to make trouble for anyone else. The thing just is, I can't go back to how they used to be, just not anymore. I, I like that fact. I like the fact that Bredoria says it, because so much has changed with so many heroes dying, you know, people giving up on being, people, heroes giving up, society itself giving up on heroes, you, you know, stuff like that. The villains kind of taking over and just running everything, and Japan just and just being, like, embroiled in chaos. He's right. Things just can't go back to where they used to, to the fun and love and stuff where they, they would have, like, school arcs and stuff like that. There's no way it can. Too much has happened. Too much loss, too much pain, too much suffering. You can't just go back to how things were. So I like the fact Medora, like he's like, yeah, I want to go back. I want to protect everybody. I want to go back to things used to be. But we were just, we were just trained to be heroes. We were all friends, but things aren't like that anymore. You now with so many heroes gone, they have to step up and be heroes now, even though they're not ready. They're not ready to. And he's like, we just can't go back to how things were. Like that, that makes that makes perfect sense, at least from my at least from my perspective. Hey, I remember when I said Sagaragi made Swiss cheese out of me. No, I don't remember. I was it was it was stop trying. I need to tell you that th that I got triggered because my body was its own, but I had to say more. It will stop. It will stop trying to win this on your own. While wow, the fact that this is coming from Baki from Bakugo was crazy, but I kept feeling like you were above me. You were supposed to be beneath me. You know, I always looked down on you because you were quirkless. I couldn't accept the way you were. I couldn't bear it to look at you. I hate it. Damn. This shit is deep. We getting some real stuff about here now. He's really letting out his feelings. 
So I kept you at arm's length and was mean to you. I tried to act I tried to act all superior by rejecting you, but I kept losing that fight. Since we got to UA, nothing worked out how I thought it was. Instead, this past year forced me to un understand your strength and my weaknesses. Damn. This is some incredible character program for Bakugo. Like, we've come such a long way from, I hate you, dick, you. You're weak. You're a piece of shit. <laughs> we've come so far from that. I and mean, just the character growth, because, like, in a situation what they went through, like I said before, that's the type of stuff that forced you to grow. The hard, There are hard moments in life that just... It forces you to change. It forces you to grow up a grow up a bit. You know, when you go through these hard and dark moments, you can't go back to being that same person after that. So I love the fact that we have Baki here just just talking because like he it shows that he's changed. Now I don't expect this to I don't expect this to change these trends, but I gotta speak my truth. Oh my god, man. I'm sorry for it. Wow. Oh my god. He's apologizing. I can't Bro, I'm blown. Bakugo is sitting here and he's apologizing for everything he's did. Now, for me, I always believed that eventually Bakugo was going to change. That eventually ruined Gara, the whole I hate you, Deck, and you suck. But I never really thought he was going to apologize for it. I thought they were just going to move on from that and they were going to know and they, was gonna let it, but the, they were just going to let it go. Like it was like a thing in the past. But the fact he's here in the ring after they've all come here to save Deck, you tell him that, hey, I'm sorry. And pretty much tell him, like, you can't do this by yourself. Like, you can't do things on your own. Like, I tried that. I tried to do because Bakugo for a long time was trying to do things on his own. He didn't want the he didn't want his he didn't want the other classmates help. He didn't want the heroes help. He wanted to do everything on his own. But you he realized he just couldn't. There's too many things out there. He just he just couldn't do everything on his own. He wasn't all might. And that's kind of you know the whole thing with All Might. All Might was a hero that you know he appeared, he was capable of doing everything by himself, saving the day. Beating the bad guys, always there with a smile. You know, excuse me, All Might was perfect, but at the end of the day, even All Might needed help. He couldn't do everything on his own, you know? And so I love the fact just seeing that and just seeing this character growth, man, it's, it's crazy. I, I, I honestly can't believe he apologized right now. I'm, I'm a little bit shocked. There's nothing wrong with the path you've been walking down since inheriting one for all and following All Might's lead, but now... You're barely standing, and those ideals alone are enough to get you over with it. Well, the wall you're facing. Oh my god, bro, bro, this is what am I reading? This is crazy. We're here to step in when you can't handle on your own because live to live to what is live up to, to because to live to sorry, guys, to live up to those ideas in the past. All might we guys save you from the uh. So we got to save you, the civilians at UA and the people on those streets, because saving people is how, is how we win. Baku, ba, ba. Oh my God. Wow. Saving people is how we win. You know, this is the first time I think I've heard Baku, like, at least to me, really speak like a true hero, man. Just to say that because saving people is how we win, man. And, you know, and that's the whole, the whole goal of Venus has always been to, you know, to destroy the superheroes, you know, to destroy, you know, what the public thinks of them. Because no matter, no matter, you know, what you do, it all depends on the public image, right? And if you destroy that image of what people, of what superheroes are, then you destroy the superheroes themselves. Doesn't matter if they beat you. But by Baku was saying, like, this is how we win. We win by not, not just beating up the villains. We win by saving people, by protecting people, by standing up for what is right and, to hear this come out of Bakugo, Bakugo's mouth, it's 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 crazy, guys. Like just like like this, oh my God, like the character growth from Michael there. Like I said, I've been with this show since the beginning. You know, since the very first episode, the very first chapter. You know, and just to see the like, again, just to see what the growth that not just Bakugo but all the students have went through. You know, especially when the whole Shigaraki and the whole attack that he went on. And the structure and the loss of all these people. You know, I never, I didn't think Mint I was going to die. Like, you know, I didn't think certain people was going to die. Like when uh, Sandu, what was his name? Like, I think it was Crest. When, when Crest like, like, not Crest was a big hero, but like, seeing them die and stuff like that. Like, it was something like I never thought. I never thought like they would lose one of the teachers, that they would lose Midnight. And when that happened, 
I was shocked and I was like, oh my God, this is going to change everything because it shows that, you know, they can lose people that when it comes to being heroes, you can die. And it's, it's absolutely insane to me to just, to sit here and just read this right now, man. Everyone, I said you all couldn't keep up with me. Has always has always been has always been way ahead of me. I'm sorry to say thing. I'm sorry I said something so awful. We get it. Oh my god. He just and Madora just collapses in the back of those arms. And that is this this Oh my god, this is perfect right here. The fact that he just collapsed in the back of those arms. And him and Dura, like he's just apologizing, like and he didn't even have to say in the back of like we understand. Because again, Deku wasn't doing this out of selfishness. He wasn't doing this like, oh, only he was, oh, I'm better than everybody else, and only I can take on, only I can take on, you know, uh, uh, one, for, uh, only I can take on, uh, all for one, and you know, and stuff like that, because I'm, because I'm, I have, I have one for all, so that no, he, he was doing this because he wanted to protect it, but he didn't want to see anybody else, any of his other friends lose. He didn't want to lose anybody else, and knowing that all for one was after him, he took it upon himself, even meant breaking his very mind's body and spirit he was going to do what he he was going to do it he was going to do it so nobody else would have to and he said some special things saying like you guys can help me the only i can do is and pretty much just turn away his friends which is something madeku would have never did before and and for him to you know sit here and race you know everyone's always been ahead of me and just him and him saying that i realized you know you know it's it's not about like being ahead. It's about running side by side. Like I said, that's how we win by everybody working together, everybody running at the same time. And for him just to apologize and collapse the back of his arms, and back of like not even to not even like need him to explain, just like we understand, man. We understand why you did this, but we need you to understand that we're here for you, and you don't have to do this alone. Unlike well, unlike all for one. We we are your friends, not because of not because you have powers, not because of what you can do for us, because of who you are, and we have your back no matter what. Oh my God, just the faces, man. Ah, oh. okay. With that, with that, our first chance is clear, but the royal head will be perilous. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, things are gonna get crazier. Oh, he's waking up. 13, he's up. Oh, that's great. Can you hear me, Odoya? Wait, 13's a girl? At present, most friends have moved and evacuated stores across the country. The majority of the Hydos the Hydos are anti hero anti hero processors who've been whose form of a vivid uh a vigilante co corpse or coops or village plagues. They simply ride in the way of the escape conflict. Or simply ride in the way. So pretty much it's Either people who are who are just going along with the villains, or they're people who, because they've lost hope in the heroes, have formed their own group and are protecting or doing the fighting themselves. It is just crazy right now, man. I never thought I'd have saw the micro to get dark. Excuse me, guys. Every day, more people will grow wary of the anti hero, will grow wary of the anti hero, anti hero as a lot of and decide to move into the shelter. Yeah, because at the end of the day, like. You can fight, but like if you don't have powers, like you all you're already doing is sacrifice themselves. Like a bunch of people coming together aren't gonna stop eating like the major heroes, like one for all, all for one, something like that, you know, or Sega Rocky. It's it's just it's just it's pointless. You're just like it's great for you to stand and want to fight by yourselves, but at the end of the day, like there's a reason why the people with powers are fighting with the people with powers. You no, know, unless it's like you're like Batman or someone, so I don't think these people aren't. Meanwhile, the most most of the violent uh Radicals end up forming gangs that are easy enough to easy enough to track down. Uh, the mass evacuation continues amongst the violence, and and personals are assigned to deal personnel assigned to deal with efforts of the other. Everyone is doing the utmost to improve the situation. As for you, as for the eight you were providing out there, other heroes on other heroes on the police are now. On the take are now on are now on the are not are not able to take on that burden. So pretty much, I'm like, hey, like, like you don't have to do this alone. And I think like Deku doing this while it was like bad in some ways, it also probably showed and inspired like the heroes or the police. Like, hey, this kid is taking this on, try to do this all by himself, and he's his body's broken and his spirits 
almost crushed and his mind looks like it might be gone, but he's still out there trying to be a hero, trying to do good. Like, how can we, the adults, the people who have been heroes for years, sit here and do nothing? Like, how can we do nothing when he's out there doing all the fighting? So I think Deku did inspire some people by him doing that. But, but like I said, like they're able to take on that burning now. This is US, UA, the barriers, the UA barriers are out in full force. And this is just the tip of the iceberg. Hell yeah. You freak when you heard the dips about, you heard the, the dips about the system. They say we can combine with Zikris. Of course, I want to honor the class a AS feelings above all, but no, I can't, I can't come back with all, what's all that noise? Oh my God. So he's still not willing to go back. Don't let that don't let that boy take one step into UA. They say Sir Rocky was tearing to some was targeting some kid. And he's one of them, isn't he? Hey, hey now, take it take a chill. Damn. And he's he's doing all this to be, He's doing all this to protect these guys and they're willing just to throw him out on the street because they say he's a threat. Man, look look at Midoriya's face. Oh my god. This shit, this shit getting me to my feelings, man. Like, nah, I'm mad at the public because he's out here doing all this to protect them. He knows that he's targeting them. But Shigaraki wants to kill everybody. Like, like once he gets one for all, like, he's going to either take over the world or destroy it. You know, that's his whole goal. You know, or maybe Shigaraki's goal was to destroy it all. One for all is to rule everything. But still, like, neither one is pleasant. And to see he's out here fighting for these people and for them just to, you know, say, throw them, like, like don't let them go in the UA. Like, this is his home. This is his school. Like, it, damn. Don't you all, don't you all hear the principal explained? He guarantee our safety. He guarantee our safety no matter what. What? And you were convinced by that crap? We were abandoned. We been our homes and came here because we thought we'd be safe. So what is this toxic time bomb do? Damn. Man, when you just want to go into the crowd, just bam. That's why I cannot be a hero. Because I'm like, man, shut up, bro. Why are you so pathetic? You can't even protect your own home. Like, ooh. Lord of mercy. Why is it got, why it got to be you, huh? Let him hide someplace else and do not walk away. Ooh, it's all Eat up, eat up, and them start looking, start linking this, start looking this change. Hey, it's okay. Man, God. Bro, just look at my dude his face, man. I know he probably just feels crushed. Because, like I said, you can imagine... He went out there. He's trying to stop one for all to protect everybody so nobody else can get hurt. And he knows one for all is targeting him. So that's why he's left in the first place. And for them to bring him back, and here's the people who are like taking us out here and be like, no, throw him back out. You know, he's the reason like he's going to come here anyway. It, I can only imagine just the, the crushing pain he must feel because, like I said, he's doing all this to protect all these people. Bako. Play his part too. We're not letting. We're not letting go of you. You know we won't let you, because heroes need protecting. Who will be? Who who will be there to protect? So when heroes need protecting, who will be there to protect them? Damn, and just it just ends with you rock his face, man. Like just uh, that's that's number one wifey right there. That's number one wifey, man. Anyway, guys, thank you for watching. That's the end of the chapter, man. Just what can I say? But amazing. What can I say? But absolutely incredible. What can I say, but this has to be, hands down, one of the best chapters so far in my life. I love like there was no action. There was no fighting. It was just pure character growth, man. Just see, like I said, seeing Bakugo freaking apologize, saying sorry. You no, know, for him saying no, in order for us to win, we need to save her. We need to save everyone. Finally sounding like a true hero, man. Not the evil, explosive murder guy, blah, blah, blah. Like a true hero. And to see him, you know, to apologize for Deku, him saying to Deku, like, you know, no, I hated you. I hate you because I couldn't, I couldn't understand, like, like why you want to be the hero when you were so weak. You, you were crookless. Like, how could you be anything, let alone a hero? And to see him, Bakugo, come clean and tell him that, but then also say, you know, I was wrong. I was wrong. And be, I was wrong for picking on you when you chose to come down this path. I was wrong for saying that you couldn't be a hero. And to hear Bakugo said the guy who was always, I can do anything by myself. You suck, dick. You explodes in dollars. You know, all serious. To hear Bakugo say that to Deku in the rain and dude just apologize, man. Like, it's incredible, incredible, incredible character growth, man. Like, Bakugo has always been one of my favorite characters, even when he was acting like a dick, you know. But 
now he's easy within my top three probably right now just because the fact he it takes a man to, you know to uh a real man to admit when he's wrong to hey come and say hey dude all the things i've said that passed with you what i did they came from a place of hate men and hatred and, and, and not and not hating you because of ha hatred like of misunderstanding because i couldn't understand why you want to do this and you know i was wrong and i'm sorry for that it takes a real man a real hero to come out and say oh, I was wrong and to apologize and to admit that you're wrong. For someone like Bakugo who has so much pride, who's such a powerful character, he's like Vegeta in that way. For him to bow down and say this, like it reminds me of that moment of uh in Dragon Ball Z, you know, Vegeta, you know, during the um Nemesama when he sat there and he cried to Goku and he pretty much told him, like, hey man, I need you to beat Frieza because I can't do it. This is the king of sayings, a guy who was so prideful for him to break down that pride. And to literally beg to ask Goku for help, man, it reminds me of that because it's like it takes them a true like character grow a person to be able to let go of that pride and to toss it away. Because in the moment, because what they're going through now, Bakugo's pride isn't going to help them. What they need is to come together as one and to be heroes. And to see him let that go, to see him like admit he was wrong. And I think he really sees now that Bak that Midoriya is his best friend. Now. Like he really wants to work with him now to protect everybody. And they'll know to see the other students say like, "Hey, man, like, we don't care what anybody says. We don't care what these people think. We're not letting you go, because while you were trying to protect everybody else, who's going to be there to protect you?" And they're like, "We will. We are going to protect you because they're protecting them now from this mob of people who who just want to throw deck you out on the street, where all these villains are waiting to get out. Like, literally, uh, one all for one has all these assassins and stuff coming after Deku and stuff. Like, he hasn't had a moment's rest." And they're just and like he's doing this for civilians to protect them, to protect their friends, to protect all these people, and to see the people that you're trying to protect just throw you back on the street. And like, yes, I understand they're scared. I mean, and that's human nature. We all do things, you know, we're scared, we're terrified. But like, like to see them do it, like I can just imagine like it crushed Deku. And that's why he probably was like, I can't come back. And to see Uraka, Uraka just come there and just grab his hand, be like, No, you're staying right here. We went through all this, we went through all that to get you. We're not letting you go now. We're not letting you go. And just amazing, guys. Anyway, guys, that's the end of the video. I hope you guys enjoyed, man. Please leave me your thoughts down below. What you feel about this chapter? Like I said, hands down, probably like top 10, top 10 favorite, my favorite, my favorite academic chapters of all time, man. Like just an incredible chapter. The pure pure, pure, pure uh, character girl. Definitely the best chapter for Bakugo, I think. But let me know your thoughts down below. What do you feel? What do you think is going to happen next, man? It just gets, it keeps getting crazy every chapter. Uh, make sure to check my social media. You can find us on there. It'll be linked in the description. Also, if you guys want me to react to more manga and you want me to continue that reacting to Mario with Gamia, make sure to give me a thumbs up, subscribe, and share, guys. Help support the channel. It's like cracks and mouth. Peace.